An ER diagram shows the relationship among entity sets. An entity set is a group of similar entities and these entities can have attributes. In terms of DBMS, an entity is a table or attribute of a table in database, so by showing relationship among tables and their attributes, ER diagram shows the complete logical structure of a database. Let's have a look at a simple ER diagram to understand this concept. The company is organized into departments. Each department has a number, name, email, phone, fax, location. The department controls a number of projects. Each project has a number, name, start date, end date, scope. It is necessary to store each employee's number, name, NIC, address, email, phone, salary, date of birth and gender. An employee is assigned to one department, but may work on several projects. Data such as the number of hours per week that an employee works on each project. The dependents of each employee are maintained for insurance purposes. We keep each dependent's name, gender, date of birth and relationship to the employee. Let's draw the ER diagram for the company use case. I used Drow.io software to draw this ER diagram but you can use any tool for that. I have already explained most of the ER diagram components. In this example I have used entity, attribute, weak entity and relationships. If you need more details about ERD components, please refer the our previous tutorial. The company is organized into departments. Each department has a number, name, email, phone, fax, location. Let's draw department entity. Department should have key attribute. I take department number as the key attribute. A department controls a number of projects. Each project has a number, name, start date, end date, scope. Let's draw project entity. Project should have key attribute. I take project number as the key attribute.
Let's build relationship between department and project. According to the use case, a department controls a number of projects. This relationship call as one to many relationship. Next step is add employee entity. According to the use case, an employee is assigned to one department, but may work on several projects. It is necessary to store each employee's number, name, NIC, address, email, phone, salary, date of birth and gender. Data such as the number of hours per week that an employee works on each project. Let's build this relationships.
Relationships between entities. A relationship is how the data is shared between entities. There are three types of relationships between entities. Let's take an example, A and B are two sample entities. Relationship type 1, 1 to 1 relationship. One instance of an entity, A, is associated with one other instance of another entity, B. Relationship type 2, 1 to many relationship. One instance of an entity, A, is associated with 0, 1, or many instances of another entity, B, but for one instance of entity B there is only one instance of entity A. Relationship type 3, many-to-many -many relationship. One instance of an entity, A, is associated with 1, 0, or many instances of another entity, B, and one instance of entity B is associated with 1, 0, or many instances of entity A. Difference between strong and weak entity. The strong entity has a primary key. The weak entity has a partial discriminator key. The strong entity is independent of any other entity in a schema. Weak entity depends on the strong entity for its existence. Strong entity is denoted by a single rectangle. Weak entity is denoted with the double rectangle. The relation between two strong entities is denoted by a single diamond simply called relationship. The relationship between a weak and a strong entity is denoted by identifying relationship denoted with double diamond. Strong entity may or may not have total participation in the relationship. Weak entity always has total participation in the identifying relationship shown by double line. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.